Hello everyone, Proxy War here and welcome back to the channel. As you can see, we have loaded up Attila Medieval Kingdoms Total War 1212 AD mod for a very special campaign, for the start of a special campaign I should say, uh, which I'll show you now, but you would see the thumbnail and obviously the titles and stuff. Uh, we're gonna go early campaign because the late campaign is still not available. And there they are, the Teutonic Order. This is who we'll be playing as today. Uh, we'll be sticking it on hard. Uh, the reason being, uh, still kind of new to the mod. I've played it on and off, you know, for a while. However, um, they only have 3,000 population, but we'll get into that in a minute. So the initial challenge is hard. Uh, there's a lot of religious unrest in this area, as there are a lot of pagans floating about. So our faction strength comes from our cavalry. We have exceptional cavalry, but our weakness is the low probability order and obviously the religious unrest that comes with that. So we'll be sticking it on hard. I think that was a good balance for what we are fighting against. Um, that's, so our faction leader is Herman. We got our 3000 population, which is another issue because we don't have a lot. If we take a look at somewhere like um, Sicily, even they, you know, small faction, uh, got 72k, whereas we only have 3,000 men to draw upon, which is not a lot at all. Um, and we are obviously Catholic. Uh, let me just do a quick summary of what we're all about. So the Teutonic Order is a German military order which was founded in 1192 to aid Christians on their pilgrimages to the Holy Land. The Teutonic Knights seek to campaign against the pagan tribes and expand their influence around the Baltic Sea to continue the conversion of the area to Christianity. So that's what we're all about. We're going on crusades and we're converting the populations over to our religion. Follow our God or perish, basically sums it up. Uh, that's enough of that. Let's just get straight on into it, shall we? Deus Vault friends, here we are on the campaign map. I just cut out the first load screen because it takes a bit of a while. Uh, so here we are. Um, so basically, Medieval Kingdoms Total War 12, 12 AD uh, is a total conversion mod for Total War Tiller, bringing it into well, the year 12, 12 AD and sort of tries to recapture the magic that was Medieval 2, basically, to sum things up. Um, obviously with better graphics and everything because it's a, a newer game, okay, but that's what it sort of comes down to They want to try and capture that magic, okay, so there's similar scripts and everything It will start again custom scripts that bring in the uh, That are brought in by the mod sort of like going on crusades and things like that because that was not in the normal base game of Attila so there's a lot of mechanics that I still need to get used to. There's some more wariness. I don't know if that was a base game thing. But here we are in our home region of uh, Riga, or Riga, depending on how you want to pronounce it. Uh, we've got a couple of units. We've got our pretty decent cavalry, uh, which are going to be our saving grace, really. So uh, first things first, I want to go for city... No, hmm... What would we like to go? So our research rate currently is 107%, which is not too bad. Um, let's go for, I think probably city charters, just to get that population growth first. It's gonna be a while before we even touch the Crusader Kings uh, military tab. Um, as you can see, the technology rate is immensely long. Like look at that, 38 to get everything, you know. Um, Oh, that's pretty good. Oh, that's oh, that's navies. So I thought that was uh, for everything else. Tall mounted rudders. I just saw the ten percent movement range, but that's for navies only. Anyway, we're gonna get this growth and um, continue from there. We're gonna spend a lot of time in that sort of civic tab for first, because we I mean we're trying to make our economy um, better. You know, we're just gonna have to rely on what we have and deal with what we can. Um, we don't have a lot of cash, and there is a lot of problems when it comes to our Religion, so this place, our home province, is only 10% Christian or Catholic, and the rest is Baltic paganism. And because there's a lot of uh, areas around here which are uh, pagan, it's obviously they, with their religious buildings, they're influencing ours. Um, I think is it is rising, it is rising, but slowly. So the first thing I think we need to do is 
definitely recruit some extra units. Um, we don't have a in terms of lots of cash, so I'm just gonna get some early spearmen. Oh, and look, there we are. We already are a population. Can you believe it? I can. Might go and get another cavalry. I mean, they're really expensive to upkeep. They've got 400 upkeep, but they are quite good. So medium shot cavalry, much cheaper. I think we should get a unit of medium shot cavalry. Um, that's all we can afford. We don't have any other populations and stuff and all that. So we're going to spend a couple of turns here just sort of building up and then pressing on. Uh, let's take a look at our diplomacy and see the state of affairs. These guys are going to definitely declare war on us sooner rather than later. Um, and then, so anyone who's not Christian basically are our enemies when it comes down to that. It says neutral, but they'll declare war on us. And these two are friends. They have military alliance together. We are trading with a couple of factions, including uh, the Duchy of uh, Pomerania. And we got the Kingdom of Denmark. We are quite happy with us, actually, which is not too bad. And the Kingdom of Sweden. We are, they are Catholic, so they are friends, and we're trading with them. Pisa, um... Or we know of, but they're not trading and they're kind of neutral. Let's see if we can get trade with My some of these factions. I doubt it. Yeah, low, lots of money. I am running a mod that sort of modifies trade a little bit. Um, so at least giving us a, a little trade buff, but it's also harder to get, if that makes sense. So well, that's what I find anyway. It's quite tough to get trade in, in this state, mod, welcome. especially since you don't have any resources. I mean, we're just importing grain, so we can't exactly like sell it off. I guess that makes sense. Uh, but yeah, that's that's where we are. So we're importing grain because you know it's a really hostile region around here, and we can't really uh, get all that. Um, just let me know about the sound f options. You know, I'm still trying to get the balancing right. So we can put the music up a bit and things uh, i'm just trying to get all that working correctly uh so if it is too low um no just let me know and i can change it in the next episode or whatnot okay so um so we, that's it uh, no real trade we can think of we've got diplomacy we've got our technology going let's take oh i guess we could look at our faction here so here we are we got herman he is wearing a cool sort of bandana -y type thing um, he's not married or anything. Mm, sleep wife. He's only 47, so maybe he can squeeze out a couple more. Our son, uh, Conrad, is six. And then we got a couple of these guys. Um, our power is quite high, balanced, um, which gives us 2% loyalty, uh, plus 2 loyalty, and then minus 1 tax rate. And our dominion is full. But I imagine that's going to change rather quickly. Just especially if we do lose our um, general or whatnot. So again, we're going to try and recruit as many people as we can. Um, we are definitely out of cash, but we've got some spears, got some crossbows, uh, and yeah, got any cavalry per thing. It's not too bad. And then it takes two turns to actually recruit cavalry, which is I mean they're really powerful, but again, really really expensive to maintain. Uh, we can still um, give a governor. I think I'm going to do that. Um, how do you do that again? I totally forget. Uh, let's go. So, overview. No. Uh, so, if we end it, click on that. There we go. Who will we want? Entrepreneur. What do you do? Uh, wealth from industry. Yep. Administrator. Tax rate. And yeah, same thing. So, I'm going to put you as the uh, governor here. And then we can have a edict. So, oh. So this is a problem with the mod I've noticed. Um, once you pop in governors and stuff, it's harder to click on the settlement. Um, so we're gonna go for oh, public order. Tax rate is minus 15. I would like the growth rate if I'm absolutely honest. But because there's public order issues, might be an all right thing to do. Um, Let's stick it on that for now. It's going to lower our taxes a bit, Come but I think it is worth it to get the public order up so we can start um, recruiting that. And it's going to be an age until we can actually start uh, adventuring out forward to take on all these pagan fractions that are surrounding us. So that's the sort of all we can do the first turn. Um, I don't know what else I should 
speak about. I mean, we have, I can look at the top here. So yes, some of our traits and everything, if you wanna have a look. So the German traders, we get plus 33% wealth from navies and commerce. Um, but it's quite nice. It has unique military orders, um, building chains. So, and we have minus 25 recruitment costs um, and up to, up to 10% upkeep for area recruitment as well. So not too bad. Um, obviously we are Catholic. Um, we have this, which is giving us plus 5% public order, but I don't think we need that anyway. Uh, food surplus, which is quite nice. We can try and keep that up. And we got standing with the Pope, which is five, which is not too bad. So obviously if you do um, religious missions and things, this will go up and then you can get money and that sort of thing. Uh, where is that? Uh, I think decisions. Yeah, so we can ask the Pope for money if our standing with him is high enough. I think we need like seven or something. But yeah. Anyway, that's enough of that. That's in the first turn. So pretty excited to do this um, mod. I'll play this mod anyway. Especially as these guys, you know, um, great meme, these guys. Again, their cavalry is really, really powerful, so we're gonna be focusing on that. So there we go. M marriage, cool, that's perfect. Um, maybe we can get, uh, she's, she's already 90, oh, 90, 46, so she's a, uh, you know, she's pretty good though. So hopefully she can pop up one or two more uh, children, which will be nice just to help secure our line. Okay, so our, well, 86 percent now it's not bad so we've gone up quite a lot to 14 but it's going to be a while until we start converting this province over and then we just need to recruit what we can when we can uh, so our income is going to tank massively just because of this extra cavalry unit but we can maybe pick up a couple of spearmen in a little while so as you can see um every city is its own province so it's not like the main you have to capture like four cities to have a province every city is its own standalone region uh which is quite nice again something that's from the all the total war titles such as medieval 2 or even the first rome game uh, so you know um, every city and it has its own area of recruitment so we can drain all this population and then just hop over the border here and then drain all this population um in order to fill out our ranks so that's how that works um so and each sort of city has got its own sort of uh like resources like i mean here we've got lots of timber or good quality timber here there's wax I think it actually comes from uh, bees, that I'm not too sure, but I'll, and I can show the rest as we get closer. Uh, we've got quite a lot of food, which is quite nice to see. Um, again, we just need to wait until this population. So last turn, the, this was grayed out. We currently have 90, uh, 90 men that we can recruit into the army, but I'll have to save up and get a couple of extra spear militia, if anything. So we need to wait for this cavalry to recruit, and then we can just wait and build up. Again, we're just trying to get our population and religious thing out of in control first, and then we can help expand. So it might be a slow start to the campaign, but is worth it. I mean, if we do this properly, you know, we can really um, expand and conquer, and then start converting all these provinces over to. Oh, there you go. We are at war now. Uh, the allies have refused to join their side. Okay, that's actually really good for us because we can take on these guys quickly and then we can focus on that. So again, once we start capturing other cities, it's going to help us a lot. But again, we're facing a couple of issues when it comes to um, money. So we can just afford one extra unit. Um, it's going to be winter next turn. So what we're going to do? Probably move like over here fortify and then recruit one extra spearman again the reason why we're recruiting these militia spearmen is because of they got good armor piercing damage it looks like but um their upkeep is only 91 whereas if you look at any of our cavalry 463 23 423 and then we got 319 you know so it is um oh, that's cool i didn't even know that was a tab so yep Behind forest, resistant to fatigue, which is quite good. Average stamina and all that. Um, so yeah, what can we do? We're still researching. It's going to be a way, way until we get that. So that's fine. Uh, there's no mercenaries in the game just yet, even though the mod is really stable and really well developed so far. 
uh, but I think they just need more time on dealing with it. The mod's been around for quite a while, and everyone in the Total War community is knows about this mod. I mean, loads of bigger YouTubers have obviously covered it and everything. Uh, but yeah, so we are slowly marching forward. The reason why we camping now is because there's going to definitely be um, winter next turn, and we'll fort up because they are probably sending their armies towards us. We would hopefully want to defeat them first in the field and then take their city. Or we can just siege it down. Might be a good non-aggression. You're a Christian. So yes, we can have non-aggression with the Kingdom of Sweden. You know, we're just trying to uh, watch out for our own um, godly interests. So there we go. The reason why we're in fort is just so we don't lose. Uh, we can actually upgrade this now. Just give us extra conversion speed and research rates and public order just like loads of things and we got a military church it's not bad I think we convert that over to if we convert this over to a catholic church we will lose recruiting our stronger troops but then we'll convert the provinces over quicker which is not too bad i am going to just do that for now so we got 12 units can't recruit anyone else I doesn't let you see how many popular how much population you have if you don't have anyone. It's a bit, a bit of a shame. Um, we're gonna obviously have, might have to raise another army and keep him there to help keep the peace, or we have to really wrap up these wars quickly and then go back. Uh, but then that brings itself its own challenges. Um, again, another quick end turn. Not much we can do. We're sort of sitting and fortifying in the snow here. Again, winter in these regions, you know, we're gonna suffer quite a lot of attrition. So we're trying to save as many of our troops as possible because we just don't have the men. We can't just replace them, spam them out. Um, it is now sprint. As you can see, the snows are starting to melt, but still fairly cold. Oh, look at that. If you have, I don't know, we had Fort March stuff. Okay, I should look at this actually because this obviously changes a lot of things. So let's just uh, do a normal stance and start heading towards. Hopefully we can find their army on the way. We are literally right on the border. Can't recruit anyone just yet. Uh, it's gonna take a while until that's fine. This is probably gonna rebel before anything. So we should probably get a general here to help us out. Entrepreneur, entrepreneur merchant. So no one really good at fighting. So who's got the most? He's got a lot of influence, but any loyalty? Want well, someone with like loyalty checks, can't really see. Um, let's get you, Edmund, or oh, Amund, pop you in, it's just, oh, no, not a fleet, there For we go, and, and then as we were, we can recruit when we can, and then, you know, we'll have support, so again, we've only got 12 units, so the next couple turns are going to be quite tricky, and all that, that's, uh, again, another quick end turn, not much we can do, no point looking at trade, because we don't have anything to trade, if I'm absolutely honest, so, yeah, Cool, We're, it is our turn. Hopefully we'll see the enemy. We can maybe do some raiding. Do we have a raid? I'm sure we do. Uh, again, no mercenaries to speak of. Not like we can afford it anyway. Our income has dropped massively. Uh, four turns until we get our fort. Oh, this is a... Oh, another... Actually, one thing I should talk about is the different, obviously, buildings. I mean, look, look how much there is to build. So, from just a building a Catholic chapel, you can go down four different routes. Um, for example, we've got the Catholic Church. This will give us the most amount of um, conversion rates, and we can recruit priests. I think I'm going to build that in the next town we capture. Um, but it's got a high uh, maintenance cost. And then we go on to the Teutonic Order one, which gives us sort of a little bit of conversion rate, but public order as well, and then lets us build extra troops, um, as in like our own unique troops. Then we got a military order one, which again lets us build Templar Knights and things like that. And then we got a Catholic Priory, which then goes into a monastery and then an abbey, um, which gives us sanitation and wine production. So also pretty good. But I think the next one we want to build is the Catholic Church to build... Uh, priests like, so they can help convert the provinces over so it's gonna be autumn next turn, but we'll be able to get there in time um, You need to 
rather wait until, until we get like actual spearmen. Our garrison is looking kind of thin in terms of uh, actual melee troops. We've got some catapult on the walls as well, which is quite nice. Um, I haven't seen the enemy just yet, but hopefully soon someone's upgraded. This is our governor, the guy we popped into the province earlier. Um, tax rate, not too bad. We'll get you and then get you so we can start going down this route because this is the more sort of building route and this is the more warrior sort of route. Okay, so you've got 400 gold to speak of coming in per turn. Not a lot. If we lose an army, this is a game over, job done. Again, we just can't, don't have the resources at the moment. So the next couple of turns are going to be really what decides the entire fate of the campaign and this episode so you know hopefully i don't have to re-record that um that a marriage properly contracted and considered can be harmonious peace with you guys i think i'm going to accept that again trying to make as many friends as we can as possible ah oh, here comes their army much larger than ours but you know, quite a lot of skirmish you have we've got three units of spears or two crossbows. We just need to get rid of their skirmishes. I mean, they outnumber us by about seven, eight hundred men. So it's going to be quite interesting to see. Uh, but let's fight this one. I will meet you guys on the battlefield map. Here we are on the battlefield map. An uh, interesting sort of map. There's lots of high ground around here, but we're going to need to like rush this and sort of capture this hill in a way um let's see what else we got otherwise it's just sort of planes again they just have so many infantry here how much there we've got 1400 they've got 2100 um i think we should probably try and capture this ridge line as best as we can i mean we've got decent enough units so we're gonna pop a spearman on the side there and then we'll obviously rush them up and capture this we've got our crossbows with 130 men in the side our cavalry is what's going to have to save us i'm even going to pop my general in this group um can maybe go split them up even more i think we'll will we'll take you two pop you on group two and then you guys will go here yeah. so you're looking really thin compared to your uh, brethren here um again split them up in two sort of groups just because of the amount of enemy missiles and cavalry you're dealing with uh i want to let them come to me and then take it from there really let's start the battle immediately claim this high ground as best as we can archers because they're crossbows i think they need more direct line of sight i don't think they can just shoot over but i mean they might they might do can't remember how they work really. Um, we'll take you guys, pop you up just over there. So they got some lot of skirmisher cavs, so we don't really want to be using our own cavalry to chase them down. If we can intercept and take them, we will, because we will destroy them obviously with our heavy uh, cavalry. Um, and then we need to get rid of these uh, skirmishers as soon as possible. So I think we should probably send up a contingent to go and harass them. Uh, let's not run just yet. We don't want our cavalry tiring out. Uh, let's see if they, oh, they can't come around here. That's gonna help. That's yeah, good. So we're gonna we're gonna have a little bit of extra protection on this uh, because of this hill here. Um, I'm gonna actually shorten the line a bit more, just to make it really really thick lines, you know. Here comes their cavalry. We're gonna obviously shoot them with our own skirmishes. Out oh, without, yeah, with our own skirmishes. Cavalry. Okay, cool. We got free rain on that infantry, so we will take it, um, and we'll follow suit with our own cavalry, or our extra cavalry that we have. Yep, just wanna avoid their skirmishes. Uh, you guys are. I'm gonna pop everyone on sort of shield wall or whatever they have. And then you've got shield screen. Again, that's just gonna help protect them against skirmishes and everything like that. Um, if you can go after them and then you go after them. 
Okay, it looks like they're turning the whole army to sort of face us. Uh, they got light cav, so they are... If we can catch them, we will. Oh, okay, let's fall back. We lost one... One troop there. Uh, we won't leave these guys in Lon because... Obviously, these are shock cavalry, not really good in pre long melee. They're there to do the damage and do hit and run tactics, rarely. So they're going to manage to make those guys waver. We can keep them in there long, longer. They're chasing our general. Don't want them to snipe him. So we'll keep running. Keep running. Let's keep going. Let's get rid of these guys. And, I mean, this is the first battle of the campaign, so we have to fight this. Oh, wow. We... Oh, they are actually engaging us with their own cavalry. Again, we can also just distract them and then take on them one at a time. We lost quite a lot of troops in that actual army there. Oh, keep running, guys. Don't get bogged down. Oh, these skirmisher cows, man, they are so quick. Let's quickly tag team that if we can. And then get all these guys around. Just trying to avoid their spears because spears do lots of damage to cavalry. As you can see here, we managed to push those guys back just because of that. Um, oh, damn, okay, let's turn you guys to face that way. Con really shorten the line. Let's move you guys. Move you guys up. Okay, we are losing some troops, that's okay. If we get our spearmen, oh man, everyone is routing here. Let's just start falling back with these guys. We managed to capture most of their cavalry, perfect. Um, engaging their skirmishers, which is fine. Let's just try and get rid of this other skirmisher unit. Don't want to engage their swords, so we'll fall back now. Let's get everyone out. Our men are rallying. They're not done yet. Perfect, you guys back into the fray. Don't want them to really charge us here. Come on, guys. By the power of God, uh, we have lost the one unit of cavalry, which is a bit of a shame. Let's leave that army there for now. And we'll we continue... Come on, guys, take him out, please. Let's get these spearmen. Turn, face them. Well, we'll do. I'm gonna move our crossbows around. You guys. Oh, we actually managed to break that lot. Might be able to just capture them and shoot these guys in the flanks and just chase them down as many as we can. Look. Oh, our cavalry got, got a bit caught here. Let's break you out, go this way around, and then, because they can't chase all of us at the same time. Cool, we got our huge cavalry contingent. I say that's 80 men, but you know, these are medieval tanks, so. Cool, we've killed a general. Balance of power is in our favor, but again, very precarious situations we find ourselves in. We've lost a couple of crossbows. Uh, we've managed to route them properly now, not just wavering. Let's uh, keep going. We're busy setting waypoints for our cavalry to follow. If you guys don't mind shooting them, let's bring a unit of spears and then you guys can actually go and capture them as well. If you don't mind, go and face them. You guys are walking, what's taking, why are you taking so long? This 27 cavalry is distracting them, perfect. Uh, looks like we're chasing them away, but not what we wanted to do. We can uh, reform the line, I guess, on the hill. Archers, I mean, you can just see that cavalry off. That's not a problem. You guys can go in and take that guy out. If you can. Let's run, guys. Before they start launching loads of javelins at you. We are... Oh, yeah. See, the problem that we're having is that there's quite a lot of them. So they are managing to pick our, skir our cavalry off with their skirmishers and doing a decent number of uh, decent damage on them. Can we capture them? Maybe could they routing? You can help your friends now if you don't mind. If we can just see their skirmishes off, we can then pick them up one by one. Uh, crossbows, I'm gonna actually pop you in front now. 
we can reform the line here. Cavalry, no real point chasing them. Then I'll get this cavalry unit out. We can't afford to lose them. Oh, okay, they, they the men are running. Oh, that's fine. We got rid of all their skirmishes though, so now we can just use our own crossbows to our advantage, which will help a lot. Um, I'd send one unit of crossbows to continue dealing with these skirmish cavs. They must be out of ammo soon. Oh, you're a spearman here. Okay, that's um, for you back here. You guys can shield on that side. We'll start trying shooting these guys with crossbows. Yeah, again, we can just send one unit of cav to like chase them down. If we, once they are ammo properly, I think they've got like one or two shots left, and then we'll. You guys can shoot them. You guys can shoot them. Reform the line. Good. Perfect. We still got some extra spears coming up. You can reinforce this line here. We want to draw them in, sort of one by one, and we can just mob them. Uh, that's all focus fire on those Axemen. I think Axemen are going to be pretty deadly against our spear units. So we'll take them out proper. We can let our cavalry rest. I mean, they are very tired. They are heavy cav, so that is to be expected. We managed to mob that cavalry unit that was harassing us. Oh, that's uh, get out of there. Got to put you guys on skirmish mode. But, you know, as they're chasing them, <laughs> they are exposed here. So we can shoot them in the flanks here. Doing decent damage. We can uh, run up the hill there. Let's get our general out of there. Don't want him being caught either by these um, units. Trying to surround our own crossbows, so we'll move you back. They are wavering now. I imagine a cheeky charge will actually break them. So we will try and do that with our general. Let's fall back. Pop you on the flanks. Got this other cavalry unit coming in now as well. They can help us. Raise the banner we have, but we don't think we need that. That easily uh, destroyed them. Uh, yep, broken them. Good. That's what I wanted to see. As we sort of fall back. Again, we just need to do hit and run tactics. Sort of just like what we did there. Lucky that wasn't a spear unit as well, because they were facing us and that would have done quite a lot of damage towards our general. So we pop our guys back here. They are chasing our crossbows down. Now these guys are winded again, just need them to heal up a bit. Or rest up rather, they're not going to heal their wounds just yet, you know, like, like battle medics. Can, oh, you guys fall back this way. Oh, dis good distraction. I managed to throw a pop off a javelin. We'll come this way around if we need to. Oh, come on crossbows. Okay, I think we should just probably send our swords now to go deal with that. Because I don't want to lose any of these crossbows. They do quite good damage. Again, just mob them with infantry. Um, shoot who you can. They're catching some of us. Some of them are caught. But they'll break instantly now. There we go. Let's uh, start taking on these guys next. They are wavering. And broken. We are going to obviously run them down. Uh, I don't want to shoot our own men, so we're going to turn them off fire will, and uh, we can let this play out just a bit. Let's just um, try and chase down a lot of these infantry, because we don't want them healing up or anything. We have to totally decimate this army so we can capture the next province over. So we'll chase them. Good. Well done. Again, let me know if the music and stuff's too loud. I can then edit it down later. Again, it's just because it's a new campaign, so and the sound balance and stuff is not correct anyway um how much do they have here eight men 40 oh, okay i guess we can just add there <laughs> deus vault we have won let's end the battle there so there we go uh here we are back in the campaign map still got quite a lot of skirmishes a lot of them managed to make it away but that's it. So, I'm going to take on Warriors just because we don't have enough troops to sort of replenish. So, you know, these guys have, we can say they've thrown down their, or turned down their false gods. And now worship the one true god. Um, 
nope, you can you can get the promotion, I guess, minus four percent in control. That's okay. Um, so our army's looking a little bit healthier than what it was after that first battle. Um, we're gonna go down. What's this? Personal influence. Okay, that's pretty good. I'm actually gonna go down. That's, that's also nice. 10%. Oh, that's for commanders unit only. Okay. Um, we're going to go down commander route and then trainer so we can get the next one motivator for the campaign map movement range. Obviously, it's a vast territories around here. Uh, they are running. Depending on the balance of power. Yeah, we, we have this one pretty easily. Let's go protective stance. You know, don't want to lose our cavalry. Here we go. We are slaughtering the pagans in the woods here. Again, wouldn't be a great battle to fight just based on that fact alone. Um, again, replenishment, we just all the woods. Um, looks like ooh, our military traditions have gone up, so we've got integrity. Um, battles won, casualties suffered. Um, so I think when our integrity goes down to launch, like they rebel, so that's something we need to keep an eye on. I think wow, the morale is actually really good. So we're just going to go 6% morale. That's pretty handy. And we can siege it this turn. Perfect. Um, it's not looking too great, but with our siege equipment, and we can siege them out properly, um, that will help as well. Um, again, we're trying to save as much income as possible. Hopefully, by the time this is built, there probably will be a rebellion by that point. But that's going to help convert the province over. So we're on 28% now. That's going to take an age. So in this place, I definitely want to build an ab an actual Catholic church, not an abbey, um, to build some priests. And they're going to help us convert these provinces over before we even take them. I think that's a good, sound strategy. Let's take a look at our trade and finances. Everyone is... We can, can we go down one level? Oh, actually, we can. That will, be, that will give us a couple of extra turns to sort everything out. Uh, we'll, leave it, we'll leave it like that for now. I was scared it was just going to automatically drop to like minus 300 because that's what that does sometimes. Um, how long can these guys hold out? It's going to be winter next turn. Um, turns until supplies run out three. So yeah, we're going to be sieging them out for almost a year. Um, but hopefully we can take this out next turn and then we don't have to take the winter attrition. Um, that's that. Let's take a look at diplomacy. See if anyone else wants to be our friends. Uh, we are improving with them, but they are pagans and we want their land, so I'm not going to deal with them. I welcome you on behalf of the people. Trade. No non-aggression. Just trying to build some friends, you know. Grand Duchy of Lithuania, no, don't. we're friends, we're already training as well. Uh, Denmark, we're training with Sicily. Come on, man, do you want to be some friends? To Speak. Uh, and they are much stronger than us. Republic of Pisa. Mm. I welcome you on behalf of the people. And Trade. Your words. No, 300 gold, man, that makes all the difference. No one wants to be our friend. Okay, well, that's what can we do? Let's uh, have a quick end turn. Again, this is what makes the game so difficult right now in terms of the religious unrest and everything. Uh, so how long are episodes going to be for this sort of, ep um, for, I guess, how long they're going to be in general? Um, I'm thinking about, you know, 45 minutes, but I think because it's the first, first episode, we can go for about an hour. We'll see. Um, yeah, I think we're just going to have to... We'll win, we'll win in an open field, but it's, uh, we just have to siege them out. So three turns until they run our supplies, and they're going to start taking attrition. We can continue building extra siege towers and stuff. We're going to have more towers than people in a minute, um, which is really sad. So we, minus three again, two turns until that's built. Hopefully that helps. This public order thing is actually helping us a lot. Um, but again, I don't want to spend any money. And it's, good. it's just helping us to replenish this population anyway. So, yep. I think for this province, build an abbey, a, a church, and then like a sort of just normal barracks, I think will be sharp because we need to have a military building to recruit troops from because uh, we just don't have the uh, resources necessary. Um, again, another quick end turn, nothing we can do. No one wants to trade with us until we start getting our own resources, producing our own sort of... I think we've got timber, I guess that's what we are trading, but no one wants our nice mighty wood. 
Haha, <laughs> see what I did there. Um, but oh well, what can you do? Uh, attrition, yep, 139. Man, every loss man lost is like a huge detriment. Uh, they are taking attrition now, and we can we'll siege them out until next uh, next winter because we can't afford to lose any more men that way. Um, one more turn until this is done. Perfect. Uh, I would like to change this over to the growth one, but again, we need that for public order. Otherwise, this was there's no point in lowering taxes. We will just have a rebellion anyway. Just need to tr convert this over. 32%. It is going all right. I think we're getting a bonus to convert these provinces over. These other ones are going to be much harder to deal with. Our oh, cavalry is beat up. So beat up. And against all those skirmishes and stuff. Uh, yeah, we got early militia spearmen. Okay, so they're going to be pretty, pretty bad. Um, diplomacy, very check, trade and finances. I've really looked at objectives. Um, as you can see, since there's a mod, there's no real thing. I guess we just try and capture as much as we can. Um, but the Pope will give us some sort of missions over time. And there's our summary. Yep, again, it's that cavalry that's really eating up. We can disband him and then we'll get 500 back. But even 19 tanks, you know, against uh, normal spearmen, is, you know, you can't not have them so we'll end an, end the turn again that could be built that's gonna give us enough public order so we can move the tax rates up again or just stop this from rebelling or even start moving it the other way just until we convert the province over that's the main thing that's giving us the public order issues is the religious penalty a new pope elected got honorus the third Cool, they are no longer gonna rebel. If we leave here, yeah, out of interest, yeah, okay. Just wanted to see, cool, so that's fine. Um, there's still no growth rate. We're on minus eight, um, that's, that's really annoying. Um, so if they are, they're just breaking even. Oh, who the hell? Are we friends? Oh, well, are they gonna? Oh, they're actually at war with their, with their own friends here. Interesting. Is that them? Oh, wow. We can then declare war on them straight away. But they are raiding. It's a bit um, so, obviously, with all these troops, they are going to absolutely help us. So, we've got 3,000 men reinforcing. Are some of them being pagans themselves. Kind of weird fighting with them. But I won't say no to their help right now. Uh, we're just gonna go protect the stance. Okay, ultra resolve because there's, I mean, it was so far in our favor. Um, otherwise, we would have fought that. Every city is its own siege map, so don't you worry. There's gonna be plenty of sieges. To fight. We could subjugate, but I'm not going to. I'm going to just occupy. Commander. So we can get that replenishment uh, straight away. We're gonna have to repair these buildings. Oh man. Sheep herd. Then we have to convert it over the next time. Oh, it's really annoying. We have no cash now. At your command. Uh, can't recruit anything because there's nothing here to recruit. If we, man, we need to take out these guys. Hopefully, they if they keep raiding us and they stay here, be Come fine. On. Um, hold on, six turns until we get this up. We we'll, we can take on this army just because, you know, they have these pads. Um, cavalry except these guys no more cavalry is going to be pretty good um, these guys are upgraded again perfect i'm going to go two points into campaign map movement range um, it's going to be autumn next turn it's fine but we have made progress other interest if we move the taxes up do we get more food no okay that's um sort of like thrones of britannia mechanics uh okay that's fine we're going to try and save up for Raiding is actually destroying our population, but hopefully they stop raiding us. At your command. <sighs> Out of interest, I wonder if we could win. I don't declare war just yet. I mean, they've taken these losses. We're going to replenish, order. whereas they're not until they get out of our territory. So At that's nice. Command. And we should be able to catch them anyway because of our extra campaign map movement range. It's going to be three turns. Three turns, three turns. Okay, yeah, it's going to be a little bit of time. Um, that's end of turn. We can install a governor. Mm, I don't know if I should just yet yeah, because I just don't have the money right now. So we'll do that in a moment. So we've managed to capture our first province. 
again we're gonna have the exact same issues with when in terms of in terms of um, converting these guys over it's gonna take a long time so like I said it's gonna be a very slow start to the campaign but once we get big enough you know we'll be able to expand proper but I'm, I'm... the Holy Bible may preach oh. peace but when it is Christendom itself that is threatened then it is every Christian's duty to defend all that is holy. His Holiness the Pope has called a crusade to reclaim the Holy Lands from the infidel, who would deny Christian pilgrims their right to visit the holy places. It is time for the armies of Christendom to put aside their differences and unite under one banner, the sign of the cross, and give back God's children what is rightfully theirs, or die trying. That was obviously from the first, uh, uh well, Medieval 2. Um, I remember playing the first one ages ago. I think we, sh we just need to sit here and replenish, man. There's not much we can sort of do. Um, how unhappy, still minus 11, and there's issues. Can't convert everything over because it's going to cost us an arm and a leg to do it. Um, we are making food again, which is nice. One of your sheep herd. I don't know why we need to convert this over. It's just like having sheep, you know. Um, yeah, so we definitely need to just convert this over. Um, wheat fields, that gives us minus one public order. Why would that give you negative public order. I guess like maybe in due to squalor, but I mean a field really? I mean come on. It's food man. You know this I imagine it's quite hard to come by in these sorts of regions. Um, how can we recruit anyone we can? So we've got two hundred and seventy men. So we can recruit one. I don't know if they compound so if we don't recruit anyone the population grows quicker and quicker. That'll be a cool mechanic um, like sort of DEI. Um, and if you haven't already, check out my Egypt campaign in for David Ed's Imperial for Rome 2. You know, why not? If you like a different mods for different games or different types of wars, I do recommend you check that out. Or if that's not your cup of tea, I also have a Star Wars Awakening of the Rebellion campaign playing as Rebels. You know, if you like Star Wars, it's pretty good. Would definitely recommend that. Um, okay, we just need to sit and replenish and then deal with the rebellion that's going to spawn there, no doubt. Are you becoming more Christian? You are 18% already. Nice. Um, so we've got three different sort of um, strongholds or up city upgrades that we can think of. So this one sort of uh, the donated fief that sort of gives us more. Um, Catholic conversions, you know, it's sort of like a like a free town just to focus on um, like people's religious beliefs and that sort of thing. Then we've got a walled city, which is more of your um, money maker, and then we've got a fort, which leads down to castle and stronghold, which are really expensive and have a lot of upkeep and everything. However, these are like the stronger defenses, so you know you want to put your defenses on your like outskirts territories and then have your nice. Um, World settlements on your safe territory so you can make lots of money but at the moment enemies on every front so I think we just need to go down the thief route because it's the cheapest one to make and also to um, help convert the province over but again it's 3k it's gonna take a long term long time until we get there and it helps with pop, um, population growth and stuff as well um, again can't fight them just yet. We just don't have the men. I'm gonna wait until we can recruit more spear militia. I'm um, probably just jump the border here, recruit them, and then go after that. But let's try and focus on these cities first. Um, again, I don't want to install the governor just yet, just because I'm trying to save as much money as we can, so we can upgrade these buildings over, or at least build a church or something. You know, just to help with the freaking. Uh, public order issues that we are having so I must remember I can still move the taxes up however again these guys are gonna be a bit upset with that I don't want to have the rebellions just yet um, three turns until you're fully up fully up and running we're now making plus one let's take a look maybe we can go up one and still break even no minus two okay so we're gonna oh, we're gonna leave that as it is 
Uh, let's see how much movement we can recruit now. 240, so we can get two extra units of militia. Good. Okay, that's why we want to build the barracks here because we'll be able to actually recruit quite a lot. I imagine there's more people in this area. Oh, man, I want this. If we install the governor, I guess he can upgrade and give us um, sort of minus. Uh, travel populace and consumption. I don't know how long it takes. Um, we all, there are obviously doctors and stuff we can build and that will help us out. Then we'll just another end turn. It's now 1214 AD, so it's been about two years since we started the campaign and we captured our first province. Again, as a tiny sort of faction, I mean, this is probably the smallest faction. I need to double check that, but it's one of the smallest. I mean, you start with 3,000 population, like that is, it's nothing in the grand scheme of things. So we'll just have a couple of quick and mission issued. Spread your religion to the following region. So there you go, we've got some missions. I would like that, but it's, it's gonna take a while. Again, I have to build that up and also convert this over. But I think we're gonna wait until we can convert that first. Plus one public order, oh, it's nothing. Now, how much do we have? 425. So yeah, population is hard to come by, as you can see. Ready for orders. Um, we've got seven turns until we have built this. This thing gives us plus two growth, which is going to help us a lot, actually. Uh, I think after that, we're going to get probably Catholic monasteries. Maybe not that. Probably get this, Gothic architecture, and this gives us plus influence to our state religion, which is going to help convert the provinces. I think that's going to be the next technology we get. Again, uh, no sort of, no one's going to want to trade. We've checked multiple times, so there's no point checking out. It's going to be a couple of end turns. Apologies, that's not the most exciting gameplay, but it is a smaller start. A slower start. It's good, the end turns are quite quick compared to like the EI though. It's nice. Um, so we've got one more turn until we can start converting this over. Five turns until so that's done. Our technology will be near completion. Good. Um, our interest is, just wanted to see how many troops we can raise now. 36. So we went from 25 to 36. So it's, yeah, it's taking a age. Absolutely. We can get loads of cavalry, but we can't afford it, obviously, because they've got like 400 upkeep by themselves. Um, Two turns until you're upgraded anyway. I think we just need to get this, the bodies. We just need the spear militia. We've got enough cavalry. Maybe we'll recruit one more later. So one more end turn. So we can start converting province over. We won't be able to convert this over to 50% by the time that mission is issued. It just doesn't work like that. It takes ages. But what can you do? Uh, oh, the Mongol invasion. Word has arrived of a great power arising in the east, one that is determined to conquer or destroy all in its warpath. The Mongol army armies are terrifying, are, are a terrifying force to behold, consisting of a large amount of light cavalry that provide their armies with extra, extraordinary mobility. The Mongols also employ weapons in their armies that yet unearth unheard of in Europe. So I, I wonder what that means. I wonder what they're going to get. I mean, they have like the composite bows and everything like that, but I wonder if they're going to have anything else. Uh, cool. We'll start converting that over. How are you looking? 19%. Yeah, perfect. You, you're on 43%. So we're almost there. That's good. That is good. At your command. I mean, we can... We could disband some cavalry to give us extra income. But then we have to really recruit them. And these guys got pretty decent skill um, stats on them already. Oh, I'll accept this one. But it gives us plus 400 gold. Uh, I mean, it might not be a bad shout. But we're going to have to cross that bridge next time. So I want to say thank you for watching. Don't forget to drop a like and a comment down below. And subscribe to see more Total War content right here on the channel. And I'll check you guys out in the next video.